The High Def High School Game of the Week might be a surprise to some. A year ago, Freedom was rolling over opponents, racking up basketball scores, and then they ran into the Garfield Red Wolves, who put a blemish on a pretty satisfying year for the Dark Side crew. And revenge is a dish best served cold. Early on in this one, Tristan Evans is gonna pull this one from Jeff Overton. He keeps it and gets it into that Garfield secondary. 34 yards and Freedom is knocking on the door, three yard line, first and goal. He calls his own number and it's seven nothing Freedom with 9.01 to play in the first quarter. Dark side crew was vicious all night long. Terry Walden popping, jetting like a deer, trying to run for cover, but Cam Courtney is coming in hot. On the outside, that sack was not rare tonight. Same drive, Terry Walden getting some pressure from Terrence Bush and company. His friend Cam Courtney's on the other end of that completion, heading in the wrong direction. He crosses midfield, steps out at the 32 yard line. Short field for Tristan Evans and the Eagles offense. They don't need any help, y'all. Jeff Overton, moving, big step up. Again, down on the doorstep, 29 yards, first and goal. There's another three yards for number six, six points. It's 14 nothing Freedom, 6.02 left in the first. Jeff Overton would have another touchdown in the first quarter, but to the second we go. It's 21 zip Freedom right now. Jeff Overton, go on, big step up, making some noise. Picks up 18 yards and a first down. Same drive, Jeff Overton moving to his left. How about another one? 20 yards on the carry in the end zone, but there's a flag. So Jeff over the goal line, I mean Jeff Overton says let's just rewind and do it one more time. There he goes, 28 to nothing, freedom. Still second quarter, Terry Walden, Reed popping over the middle to Jordan Terry. He's quick. Moving it down close to that Freedom Red Zone, chucked out at the 22 by Jeff Overton. Had a baby, had That's a baby. my ball. And it was. The dark side defense holds up, and Tristan Evans knows what to do on third down here. I'm going to Overton. Jeff Overton Jr. Big step up, moving that ball 52 yards without even being touched. He just glides in for a touchdown. It's 34 to nothing, 344 to play in the first half. Play of the night right here, Garfield kicker Diego Coca Hernandez fields a ground ball here deep in his own end zone. Terrence Bush manhandling him and woo! That punt ends up netting 42 yards for Garfield. Just a great job by Hernandez getting that thing off. The problem is Tristan Evans in that dark side offense, 42 yards away from that end zone. After a first down or two, Carlton Preston Jr. gonna get on that right side and in for another one. It's 41 to nothing at halftime. Third quarter, Evans to Carlton Preston Jr. again, taking the swing pass, making some room for himself. He goes 18 yards into that red zone, giving the Eagles a first down at the 18. Then Tristan drops back, fires it over the middle, on a rope, Aaron Duncan getting into the touchdown act, 18 yards, and it's 48 nothing. Freedom, 8.02 left to play third quarter. Check this kick return out. Jordan Terry again from his six yard line. Finds a crease. He's jetting, weaving. All the way down to the 11 yard line of Freedom. 83 yard return. Garfield starting off the second half in that Freedom red zone. But the dark side defense, they don't share very well. Terry Walden over the middle. Devin Reeves is on his way. Across midfield, pushed out just outside the red zone, and Jeffrey Overton. He's like kryptonite to the Red Wolves. He cannot be touched, just running any way he wants to. It's 55 to nothing, and Tristan Evans would add another one late. 61 points to leave no doubt after last year's shakeup. Hey, freedom up next, freedom up next, state champs. Lights out. Dark side. Did this game have some meaning for you tonight? Oh, you know, this game definitely has some meaning to us. You know, we felt last year, you know, we came up short and we felt we were the better team in that game. But, you know, I felt, you know, this week of practice, you know, the coaches have been stealing a great game plan and I felt we just executed to a T. And I felt, I mean, it showed and reflected on the scoreboard. And I'm just really proud of the guys. The uh, whole line, it was really blocking people because last year, you know, we came up short, we wasn't really blocking. But this year, we got way better on the offseason, blocking people, putting people in the dirt, actually finishing block so we can get the holes going and, and score touchdowns. On demand, on demand.